everyone, welcome back. My name's Diana. This is my channel, Bookish Die, and today I am doing my TBR for September because I'm actually doing a couple of readathons this month. So I normally don't do TBRs because I'm a mood reader. I tend to just choose either what I feel like reading or most often what's due soonest from my libraries. So TBRs tend not to be my thing, but I'm making an exception for this month. I am planning on, on participating in two different readathons. The first is the Magical Readathon hosted by G at Book Roast. So this is a reboot of the Magical Readathon. So instead of it being uh, centered around a series by uh, that one turf author from the UK, uh, what G's done is actually incredible. She's created this entire new secondary fantasy world and as a way to introduce us to it, this uh, kind of semi-beginner um, readathon is centered on becoming familiar with what the world is and going along the novice path to this new magical school that she's created. And so it's in this world called Aurelium and it just, it's absolutely amazing. I'll link the announcement video down below. I'm incredibly excited. This readathon I have loved since I started participating a few years ago and I'm incredibly excited that it's back in its rebooted state. So there are seven prompts for the Magical Readathon. The first prompt is The Novice Path and that is to read a book for with a map. And so I will be reading The Unspoken Name by A.K. Larkwood. A.K. Larkwood is up for the Astounding Award for Best New Author and so I'm incredibly behind on my Hugo and not Hugo's reading. And I probably will not read everything that I meant to but I'm trying to catch up on as much as I can. And so I figured this was a good one for that there is a map but yeah so this centers on an orc priestess who ends up not going through with a sacrifice that she was raised to do and I've heard amazing things about this book I have several friends who've read it I have not gotten around to reading it yet so hoping to do so in September the second prompt is Ashthorn Tree. So this is book that's been tempting you or a book that's on the top of your TBR. And so the book I'm choosing for this technically isn't out yet, but when it is out, it will be at the top of my TBR. And that is When Sorrows Come by Shauna McGuire. This is the newest October Day novel. It is, a, the entire series centers on a fae changeling, uh, October Day, aka Toby, and her misadventures in the San Francisco Bay Area. She's a knight of the realm, she's a detective, and unfortunately for her, she's also a hero and has to deal with all of that, all that that entails. And so this newest entry is Toby's Wedding Book, and I am excited and scared, and I cannot wait to see what mishaps happen on Toby's way to the altar. The third prompt is the Miss of Solitude and that is to read a standalone. So again, to try and read more of the Astounding Award, I plan on reading The Vanished Birds by Simon Jimenez. This is a standalone science fiction uh, novel. It centers on a woman who is displaced in time, who finds a young boy and stuff happens. I haven't heard this talked about a whole lot, but it is up for the, Simon Jimenez is up for the Astounding Award and it does sound very different. So I'm, I'm interested to see what's in here. The next prompt is The Ruins of Sky, and that is to read a book with ghosts or haunted houses or other supernatural elements. So I will be reading A Lots Away by Darcy Little Badger. This is a YA fantasy. It centers on a young Lupin Apache girl named A Lots Away who can communicate with dead animals and her cousin is murdered, I believe. And so this is her trying to uncover what happened. I've heard very, very good things about this book. It just, it sounds absolutely amazing. The book itself, like the physical object is beautiful. I love the illustrations by Ravenna Kai. And I think this will be a good read and something that's not super spooky because I don't do well with horror, but just like very interesting. I'm really excited uh, to read this new to me indigenous author. 
After that is Obsidian Falls, which is to read a thriller or mystery novel. And so for that, I will be reading Velvet Was the Night by Silvia Moreno Garcia. This is her newest noir novel. It takes place in the early 1970s Mexico City during the dirty their dirty war. Um, I do have to clarify because there's like multiple dirty wars in Latin America during this period. I'm yeah. So in Mexico's dirty war, when the ruling uh, pre party PRI was cracking down on dissidents, mo uh, a lot of students, they were cracking down on rock and roll. And so this novel centers uh, Maite, who uh, is pet sitting for her very uh, worldly neighbor who disappears, and um, Elvis, who is a thug with one of the government sponsored gangs and both of their journeys to try and find Leonora. I love Silvia Moreno Garcia's writing and I'm very excited to see her take on a noir. I know this isn't because I've read um, Certain Dark Things which was like kind of noir-ish but it was more like futuristic vampires which is also excellent. I love that book. So I'm, I'm very intrigued to see what her what her straightforward take on a noir is. After that is the Tower of Rumination, which is read a five star production. So for that, I am hopefully finally going to read Aetherbound by E.K. Johnston. Uh, this is featured in several of my videos so far this year. So it centers on a young girl, Penn Harland, who escapes a uh, abusive family situation aboard her family's freighter uh, and goes to Bannock Station and discovers twins Ned and Fisher and uh, things go from there. It has been described as the Fisher King meets Jupiter Ascending meets the Newfoundland Cod Fisheries Collapse and I have read a little bit of it like the first like 10 pages and like the world building already like is amazing so I'm fingers crossed get it, finally getting around to this book uh, in the month of September. And then the last prompt for the Magical Readathon is the Aurelium Academy arc, and that is to read a book in a school setting. So I'm actually giving myself two options for this just because I don't know what I'll feel like reading. So the first is A Deadly Education by Naomi Novik. This is up for the Lodestar Award. It should not be up for the Lodestar Award because it is an adult book. Um, but that is beside the point. Um, I do plan on trying to read it because I have liked Novik's other works, although I did try and read this last year and bounced off it um, because I wasn't in a good space for a lot of books and also I just found it very exposition heavy and not in a good way. Um, so that's my first option. And then my second second option is Legendborn by Tracy Dion. This is also up for the Astounding Award. It centers on a young girl, Brie, who is entered into University of North Carolina's early college program uh, after her mother is murdered and she discovers a secret society. And I've heard amazing things about this book. Um, I have been excited to read it. And so hopefully I will finally do so. So yeah, I'm like I said, I'm giving myself two options just because I don't know what I'll feel like reading. And also uh, this one might be due soon and I might have to turn it in uh, before I get to read it. So that's my magical readathon TBR. And the other readathon uh, that I'm participating or planning on participating in during the month of September is Sci-Fi September. So this is hosted by a number of people. I saw the announcement video on Jesse from Je from Bowtie and Books channel where they had done an announcement and talked about some books that they were planning on reading. And so I'll link their I'll link their video down below. So I am not planning on filling out the bingo board because that's 16 books and that's a lot. That is more than I have read, I think, in any month. So I'm just doing one column. I'm doing the column on the far left. So I will read those prompts and uh, tell you what books I have for those. So the first prompt on that column is an unheard or, unheard or unpopular book. So for this, I will be reading War Child by, by Karen Loachy. This is a sci-fi novel, it's an older one, and it centers on um, war and a young child. I, I'm very, I can't remember too many specifics, but I know uh, my friend Renee from Fangirl Happy Hour and 
um, Lee business, read this several years ago and really enjoyed it and has talked about this a lot. And so I own this on ebook and I, I think now's a good time to read this because again, I, I, aside from Renee, I don't think anyone's really talked about this book, at least not that I've seen. So I think this fits that prompt pretty well. The next prompt is read a book with fantasy elements. So I will be hopefully finally getting around to Harrow the Ninth by Tamsin Muir. This is the sequel to Gideon the Ninth. It is up for best novel for the Hugo. So working on my Hugo's ballot. And it deals with the aftermath of Gideon the Ninth, which I don't want to talk too much because massive, massive spoilers, but things are not going super well for Harrow. So this book is, or this series, the Locked Tomb series, is set in like far future, um, it's like space, but there's necromancy. So I think this book would fit that prompt pretty well. The next prompt is read a book with an alien presence. So for this, I will, I'm planning on listening to the audiobook of Prime Deceptions by Valerie Valdez. So this is the sequel to Chilling Effect, which I had read earlier this year. I was a little, honestly, a little underwhelmed by this book, by Chilling Effect, but there was enough in the world building that I was interested in. And so I plan on borrowing this from the library and listening it to audiobook because I think what worked for me with actually finishing Chilling Effect was switching to the audiobook because I really enjoyed the narrator and I thought she did a very good job just making it much more enjoyable for me. So I'm hoping to that um, Valdez's writing levels up and that e Eva's characterization is more level because that was my big complaint with that first book was Eva's characterization was all over the place. Uh, the final prompt for Sci-Fi September is Water, and for that I will, I'm planning on reading The Ones We're Meant to Find by Joan Ha. This is a YA climate science fiction novel, and it centers on two sisters, C and Casey, and C has woken up on an island, and her only companion is a robot, and she doesn't remember anything except that she needs to find her sister, and that her sister Casey is living in this floating city and is trying to reunite with her sister and um, dealing with all the politics and everything that's going around. I have heard great things about his writing with her previous book, The Descendant of the Crane. This book apparently has like a lot of twists and like is very, very good and intense. So I had been, this was one of my most anticipated books for 2021 and I'm excited that it fits one of the prompts for Sci-Fi September. So that is my TBR for the two readathons I'm participating in the month of September. I will probably be reading a couple of other non-readathon books, uh, namely uh, catching up on some graphic novels as well as uh, the 4th October Day book for my ongoing project with Fangirl Happy Hour. But yeah, I'm very excited. There are some chonky books on this TBR, but there's a lot here that I'm really excited to read and I'm hoping that the impetus to complete this TBR will finally give me the kick in the pants that I need to make some progress on uh, books for Hugo, Lodestar, and Astounding award voting. So are any of you participating in either the Magical Readathon or Sci-Fi September? If you are, are there any books that you're excited to read about or excited to read for it? Do any of the books that I'm reading sound particularly interesting? Please let me know in the comments below and if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching and I will talk with you next time. Bye!